Hey everyone and welcome to this week's video. It finally feels like spring has sprung here in Norfolk. The weather is beautiful and it really does make your mood feel an awful lot brighter. Today's episode is going to be a bit of a, a show and tell episode. I've got a few things to show you of what I'm growing and I just want to get you all back up to speed on how things are progressing here at home with the seeds and up at the allotment. So that's what today's episode is going to be. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I've got in store. Welcome back guys, it's great to see you here on my channel and I've got so much to show you this week. Things really do feel as though they have taken off in the house, um, firstly where I grow all of my seeds as well as up at the allotment. The ground is looking clean and fresh and I've put down chicken manure pellets so we are all ready for the spring season. I'm going to be starting by putting my potatoes in up at the allotment over the weekend. Um, so probably around the time that you'll be watching this video. I tend to always put my potatoes in over the Easter weekend and I just feel that it's an easy way to remember when they're going to go in. So I just wanted to show you um, my potatoes at the point they've got to with their chitting. They sort of have done really, really well this year. As you can see, they've got lovely dark purple coloured growths on them and they do actually have leaves on them as well, which is awesome. And they all look the same. So this year I said to you I was going to be planting Charlotte potatoes, which are the ones that will be going out uh, this weekend. And I was buying and planting out roosters, which are, you know, my favourites. However... I am a bit of a nightmare when it comes to shopping and I saw something uh, last weekend and I've got to be honest, I couldn't resist and I ended up spending a little bit of money, not a lot, on some more potatoes. So now I just need to make sure that I've got the space to put them. Oh, excuse me. Um, I managed to get hold of some McCain Royal Potatoes. Now, call me a stickler for advertising, but I really, really wanted to give them a go. They are already chitting in the bag and they are dark coloured chits on there. So they're well on their way. Um, but yeah, I've got to be honest, I couldn't resist. So I'll find some space for them um, on the allotment and we'll find somewhere to get these planted. But oh, I just couldn't help it. Slap my wrist later. Uh, anyway, so that's the potatoes. There's a lot growing in the house at the moment. So my chilies, tomatoes, leeks, all of my brassicas. I shall show you all of those a little bit later. Um, what else have I got growing in the house at the moment? Um, oh, my onions, they're doing really, really well. Again, I'll show you some pictures in a little while. My chilies. Obviously, for those of you who watch my videos normally know that my chilies went a bit wrong. I'm not really sure what happened even now. Like I said, they went into the propagator, they grew and they came through absolutely fine. They were kept moist, not too moist. And then a few days later, they just died, which I don't understand. I'd taken the lids off of the propagator, so there was no reason that you know, they weren't getting too dry or too moist even. So I'm not really sure. So I planted some more and luckily these are looking a lot better. I've no idea what the difference is. The soil's the same, the seeds are the same. So who knows, but these ones seem a lot brighter. So we do have chilies now growing. But whilst I'm talking about chilies, I just wanted to show you one of my chilli plants that I grew from seed last year, because a lot of people think that once you have grown a chilli, that's it by the end of the season, which isn't always true. So this chilli plant here, 
is a chili plant that I grew from seed in the propagator last year. Now this is a peach habanero chili plant. And what we did was when it started to get cold was repotted it and brought it inside and kept it in the conservatory out of the frost all winter. Um, we did trim it back. As you can see, it is now growing again and there's new growth on it. Um, and there's even little flowers appearing. So depending on the variety of the chili, please just don't assume that at the end of the year they are all finished. They can certainly come back and give you a lot more fruit. So yeah, all good on the chili front. Um, this week I have also repotted my climbing rose. I ordered a climbing rose because I said to you I want one over the gate when we get that in at the allotment. So this one is called Mystery Wonder and it's actually a grafted climbing rose. So it should be purple and white. I've never had one before that's been grafted. So we'll see how it goes. But again, it's already covered in buds. Um, so it's obviously very happy. Further to that, my other half kindly bought me a David Austin rose. Um, this is one I've been after for a little while. I've soaked it in water this morning, so I'm going to plant it up in a pot this afternoon, but that's going to stay in my garden at home. This is the Lady of Shallot Rose, which is an orange bush variety, but yeah, really, really pretty. What else have I got to show you? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so my ranunculus. So my ranunculus have now started to come up as you can see. So I planted the corms about three weeks ago in these little pots. They won't be staying in these little pots. I'm just undecided as to where they are actually going to have their final spot. So I've got 20 of these, um, which is a fair few, but they're doing really, really well. I just felt I've got so much to show you all at once. So I thought maybe that's the best way to do it. Just dedicate an episode to showing you how uh, things are progressing. So next I wanted to show you, this is going to look weird, a glass of peas, marrow fat peas. These have come from a supermarket. You may well have seen the um, packets of dried peas you can get. What you do is soak them in water and after a day or a few hours you can then plant them and use them for pea shoots or to grow your own peas. I know marrow fat peas are incredibly unpopular and most people absolutely hate them, but they just remind me of when I was a kid and we used to have them in stews and casseroles and things like that and I used to love them. My sister hated them, but I used to love them. So I am going to attempt to try and grow them, fingers crossed, to the full pea size. We'll see what happens. So that's my job for this afternoon. I'm going to sit and plant up those peas. My sweet peas, which you can probably just see. You might not be able to because there's so much going on on the table. My sweet peas here. This was the very last batch that I've put in. The others are all out in my greenhouse now. They are doing really, really well. And this is now the final sort of 100. So oh, here we go. they are doing beautifully well, really strong, really, really, um, well, the leaves on them are fab already and they're barely even through the surface. So the sweet peas are doing great. And yeah, I would say this is probably batch number four. So this is probably between three and 400 plants now. So don't ask me what I'm gonna do with them all, but we're getting there. So future plans for the sweet peas will obviously be to harden them off and they're going down my sweet, sweet pea walkway on the allotment in the summer. So that'll be really, really nice as well. Like I said, I've got them out in the greenhouse and I will show you some pictures of those too a little bit later. And the next plan for me is to start doing my sunflowers. Now I'm going to be doing in excess of 300 sunflowers as well as I've got plans to put them all over the allotment, particularly down one end. So I'm gonna be doing those in batches as well, just to see how they start growing. I know it's a little bit early for sunflowers. I know they're usually sort of April time. So I will probably just start them in a week or so and then keep going and going and going until I can't face looking at sunflower seeds anymore. I also wanted to show you this, ta-da! 
So after last week's episode, when I said I can't get a garden sieve for a reasonable price anywhere, I went into a local shop, one of those shops that's just sort of like sells everything. Does that make sense? Like, I think we have B&M and Home Bargains, a bit like that, but it's not like a big corporation like that. It's just a shop in Norfolk that sells everything. I hope that makes some sort of sense. Anyway, I went in there uh, looking for photo frames, actually, and came across this in their garden section, and it cost me £1.99. So for that, I thought, why not? So yes, the garden sieve mission is accomplished. So I will now have no excuse but to do that nettle fertiliser, which I am dreading. Uh, but now I've got no excuse not to. Well, we're talking about other bits and bobs for the allotment that aren't growing related. Excuse me again. Um, I have also started painting my little fences for the strawberry patch. Now there are eight of these, so it is gonna take me a while, but I have finished one, so I wanted to show you it. Now it's all done. So this are, these are gonna be the fences that I've made for the strawberry patch. And they are basically gonna line the strawberry patch just to give it a bit of division from the rest of the plot. I just think they're really cute. Obviously all done by hand, by yours truly. But yeah, I really, really like them. I just thought I'd like something a little bit different rather than it was just your normal plain fencing. So I've still got those to do on a bit of a mission. We still haven't got the gate up at the allotment. It just seems like I'm taking on far too many projects all in one go. And I'm very aware that spring is now here. And even though I feel like I've been working on the plot the whole time, like I don't feel like I've been sat at home going, oh, I can't be bothered. I feel like every five minutes I've got, I am up at the plot. But I think I just sometimes take on a bit too much. And I think maybe I just need to slow it down just a bit because I take on 55 projects and then it takes me forever to um, complete any of them. But never mind. If I didn't have anything to do, I'd soon mind that I was bored. So maybe better to be busy, busy, busy than really, really, really bored. But yeah, so that is the fence. Was there anything else I wanted to show you today? Let me think. Oh, basically I just want to show you everything that I'm growing. So I'll take you out to the greenhouse it's only a mini greenhouse and I'll show you the rest of the sweet peas. I can also show you the broad beans which are now ready to go outside and I just need to get my backside in gear and get them up to the allotment. Maybe I'll do that today too. So I just give myself far too much to do every day. Um, but I am now on holiday for about a week and a half. So I have got finally some time to spend up the allotment and just do what I want to do. So this week I am planting out my potatoes getting my broad beans up at the allotment, having a general tidy up, hopefully finishing the fence, maybe try and look at the gate. Still haven't sorted a cold frame. Yeah, I've got a lot to do. But hey ho, what gets done gets done. I'm not gonna stress myself out about it. Um, but yeah, I just feel super busy. I guess that's okay. It's okay to feel super busy as long as you don't, you know, get overwhelmed. I also need to plant some sunflowers. Oh, and that reminds me. I have planted out some more seeds. Now, I know that these particular flowers won't flower this year. So I've put in some delphinium seeds um, and some foxgloves. So obviously they won't be ready to flower this year. They will be flowering next year. But they're in. So I've planted those in seed trays, which I can show you as well. There's not that much to look at because there's nothing growing yet. Uh, what else did I plant this week? Oh, my cosmos have gone out and... Oh, I put some stocks in as well. So yeah, they're all upstairs because the spare bedroom in our house is the warmest because it gets the most sun. So I put them everything upstairs until it germinates and then I bring it back down. So they don't get too leggy when reaching for the window. God, I just feel like I'm talking, talking, talking. Um, my leeks are up, my onions are about ready to go out. My brassicas are well on their way too. I'll show you those in a little while. I'll show you the rest of the chilies. And as I've looked over, 
one of the, not the chilli plant I just showed you, but there's another chilli plant on the windowsill that's already got a jalapeno pepper on it. And it's March. That's insane. But I'll show you that too. So yeah, there's an awful lot going on. I just felt I needed to explain to you everything that was going on because I tend to just do little videos with little chunks of things in. So it doesn't actually look like I do that much on a daily basis. I do. I don't stop, honestly. So yeah, let me take you around. Well, you'll see all sorts around my house today um, and my garden and my conservatory and my greenhouse. So you can see a bit more of what I'm growing and then you'll have some idea of the chaos that goes on in my house on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, I'll take you around and I'll show you all of that now. So here we have the first of the ranunculus that have come up. Now I have planted 20, some are still upstairs, but here are the first ones. This one in particular is looking really, really good. Um, but yeah, they're well on their way. So I'm really, really happy. Um, just a tip, I always soak ranunculus corms overnight. I know some people say not to because they rot so easily, but it seems to have worked a treat for me. So yeah, brilliant. Now moving on to the chilies. Obviously these are far better than last time. I have still lost a couple. You can see here and here, um, a couple have died, but they're looking a lot better than last time. So that's those, and here's the, the jalapeno that is already growing here on this plant. Here are my brassicas. So kalets, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. They're all growing well in there. And my red and white onions, doing really well too. And then my leeks now are starting to poke through. My other half also got hold of a goji berry when we were doing our food shopping, which we're going to put in the fruit cage. But I've never grown a goji berry before, so any advice with that would be awesome. And last but not least in here, all my chitted potatoes. So that's pretty cool. So I'm now outside in my greenhouse and you can see here my broad beans are doing really well. They need to start going out now really. Um, and then my globe artichokes on the end, they were doing really well too. And last but not least, we've got one, two and three, lots of sweet peas growing out here. So yeah, all seems to be growing really well. So last but not least, here is my small batch of tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, so I tend not to grow very many. Just enough for pasta and sauces and things like that. Here are the rest of my ranunculus that haven't quite come up yet. There are a couple that have broken through this morning. And here is where I've planted all my flowers. So delphinium stocks, oh, corn flowers as well, foxgloves and cosmos. I've also planted shallots in here, but that was only the day before yesterday, so I'm not expecting any big rush on those. This is also my ginger, which I planted last week. No signs of life there yet. I need to give these all a good water this morning as it's going to be really warm, I think, today. So there we are. As you can see, there is so much going on here at the moment. There are seeds and plants all over the place. And yeah, it really does take over my house at this time of year, but I really don't mind too much. In next week's video, I'll be up at the allotment and I'll be planting those potatoes out uh, for Easter weekend and getting up to all sorts of little jobs. I will also be finally doing that nettle fertiliser, which I know I've been banging on about for weeks, but now I've got no excuse. So that will be on my list for next week too. Make sure you bring your pegs for next week's episode. So that's it from me. I hope you feel a little more caught up now with what's going on here, what I'm planting and where things are going. I know when you've got so much going on at the allotment, you can't possibly film it all. 
so I just feel like we needed a bit of a catch up and to bring you guys up to date with everything that is going on here next month as well I'll also be doing my what to plan in April because by no means are we done yet there's plenty more seeds to be planted um, including all the squash family so we're looking forward to that really really soon if I don't speak to you all before on Instagram or Facebook have a lovely Easter however you're choosing to celebrate hopefully the lockdown rules will be eased a little more soon but that's it from me this week guys if you enjoyed this video please consider giving me a like and you can always subscribe to my channel for further content but have a lovely week everyone stay safe look after each other and I will see you all very very soon bye